SIM card. So, uh, here's a, an ARM hard laptop here from uh, Lenovo. So we're we actually in Android right now? We're in a, oh, okay. yes, it's an open source okay. version yeah, of Linux hard. that we, we, we've customized. Uh, to create instant media mode. So right now we're in the Windows desktop and what you can do is from a launcher right on the desktop you can switch over to instant media mode. So I'm going to switch over to the home page and uh, what you can do here essentially is perform a couple of different functions. You can watch movies, you can look at pictures, you can listen to music, browse the web or check your email. And essentially when you're in instant media mode you double your battery life. So you can get up to 10 hours with the standard battery and up to 20 hours with the slice. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. How are you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How are you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's, it's one of the first. One of the first. Which other 20 hour laptop was uh, the with the huge battery? With the huge battery. Well, we actually have done it on uh, some of our other classic lines. So battery life is really important to us. Uh, but here with the X1 Hybrid, it's, it's one of the first that can do 20 hours in such a thin form factor. Let's so, check how thin it is. It's 16 millimeters in the front, 16 millimeters in the front, and 21 millimeters in the back. Do you have all kinds of USB 2? We've got USB 3, HDMI, mini display port, an eSATA USB combo, as well as an Ethernet. And so in the, in the world of thin laptops, this one exceeds because it's got all of the ports and connectivity already set up on the back. This is a, a SIM slot. So behind the SIM door, I can get it open. SIM. LTE 3G. 3G, yes. Yes, sir. So on this side, uh, you've got an SD card reader, speakers, and your wireless switch. So you can turn your wireless on, easily on and off. And on this side, we've got a door here that hides a USB and then your dual, your combo headphone microphone jack. USB 2. USB 2. Yep. We've got one USB 3 port here. Yes. Indicated with blue. The ARM OS is not Android or it is Android? The ARM OS is open source Linux. It's based on uh, a version of the operating system that you just mentioned. Okay. So it's uh, Thundersoft uh, customized? Yeah, we, we right. customize it. Lenovo customized it. And is it this similar to uh, some other tablets or hybrid you, you kind of released somewhere? In some, you, you released it somewhere, right? Was it in China? I'm sorry? Uh, in China, there was a hybrid. In China, you may be referring to the to the U1 product. Is it which similar? Is, it's, it's similar in the sense that what you, you have two different modes that you can you can use. This one I think stands apart because it has a full i7 powered performance on the win, window side, and then a very low power but efficient uh, instant media mode on the Qual when using a Qualcomm press Snapdragon processor. Can all the apps synchronize automatically between the two? So you, you, there is a shared storage space that you can use in Windows Explorer to copy your files back and forth, and that's how you copy music and movies back and forth. Too. Are you going to try to uh, develop some apps so that you, for example, continue browsing the same pages when you switch? You don't need to go and browse them again? We're going to continue to look at ways definitely to improve the experience and try to bring more to the, to the, to the experience. So that's, that's, you're right on point with that. Definitely. But uh, for, for now, there's no uh, Lenovo exclusively yeah. ARM laptop. Not yet. Not yet. No. Are there any plans for it? Not yet. Not any plans Not right officially? now. Okay. Not officially. Okay. Not officially. Okay. So, right. so, so this, how soon is this released? This will be released early Q2. So we'll see early second quarter. One thousand five hundred ninety-nine. Yeah, fifteen ninety-nine. Yep.